Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you found the last video informative and inspiring. And those are things that we can apply to our daily lives, not necessarily on when it comes to art. So, as we build artwork and as we build the foundation, we also need to build the strongest foundation ourselves. We need to be able to uh, conquer any fear, any doubt, anything that can stop you from being your true self. If you guys have any questions, uh, send me a comment, send me a message. Today, I'm actually gonna finish the painting that I was working on on my last video. So I'm gonna be adding a little bit more details, but it's mostly done. I don't wanna take too much time doing that. I'm already looking forward to the next one. I'm actually super excited for that. I have the puppies here giving me company. My girlfriend brought some uh, frames and we're gonna be uh, changing the this to an actual canvas. And we're gonna add some artwork and I feel like this is gonna be a good addition to the studio. Yeah, so today we're gonna talk about the ego and we might have different definitions of what the ego is, but I feel like we need to talk more about the ego and how it influences our decision making. Overcoming the ego is the most important thing that we can do as human beings because only then can you enter the land of milk and honey. What is it? What do you call it? Poncho. It's my girlfriend's, but it's like mine. I'm mostly the person who uses it. So yeah, it's very cool. It's super artistic. Look at this. I don't know if you can see, but it's amazing. I think it's, it has something to do with the Dia de los Muertos, so it's really cool. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I had such an amazing dinner today. I had sopa soup. It had chicken breast. It had potato, carrots, onion, cilantro. What else? Corn. Garlic, salt, spinach, carrots. It was amazing. I'm super full and I'm super creative today. So I, I don't know, I, what do you guys think? This one is always sucking on the, the blanket. All right, so let's start. So, this is part two of my last video of the same painting. Overall, it's coming along and I really love how everything is turning out. If you're interested in watching the first part of this painting, I will put a link below. So for this video, I will discuss some of the ways we can all use to feel self-empowered to be our most authentic self and our most creative. As a fellow human being, I know that sometimes we don't feel like being creative. We don't feel like writing, playing an instrument. I've been there. And sometimes we're so scared to show our creations to the world. So I know this is a real problem that we need to deal with. As I touch on my previous video, I will post a link below. Everything is both energy and waves, and your emotions play a big role in them. You can think of your emotions as your energetic frequency that you expel into the world. And just like a radio, you have the ability to tune into different frequencies. But we have to be mindful where we decide to turn the knob as some frequencies might go against what we really want. If you're feeling happy and having an amazing day, then love radiates out of you and it's evident. Everybody can see it. Everybody can feel it. And the cool thing is that it will be reflected back to you through your own experience. You become so magnetic that people will be drawn to your energy. Things will start happening that will work in your favor. Remember, the universe is a mirror of how you feel. So this is super important to understand. On the flip side, if you are feeling angry, sad, or you feel defeated, then the world will reflect that through a negative experience. And this will cause people to run away from you. Negative emotions can manifest in many ways, but they all have the same ripple effect. You will experience a very crappy day, and everything you observe in your environment will feel like crap. And how can you create like that or create anything if you feel bad? I mean, can you build a business? Or how can you help someone? Or how can you ask for help? How can we show love to our family or friends? I mean, you can't. And with respect to your craft, it takes a toll on your art. I mean, you can be creative in a sense in that you can use those feelings as a way to express how you feel at that moment. You can write a dark poem, draw something, write a novel, etc. But it's hard. 
And for me, it's extremely hard to concentrate when I'm mixing colors or if I'm writing music. When I'm feeling like that, I'd rather not engage until I feel better. I'd rather search my feelings and look for a solution. Look for a solution to raise my vibration, to change the frequency. I need to change the knob. I have to allow those feelings to surface, cry if I have to, release them from my soul. Then I can look back and use that experience as inspiration. So what is the problem behind having a negative outlook in life? This is where the ego comes in. And what is the ego? Throughout history, we have called it by different names, but to simplify it, it describes mental delusions we believe to be true. Our identity, likes and dislikes, our fears, beliefs, our philosophy, who we think we are, etc. There's also the collective ego, such as nationalism towards your country, your political affiliation, the love of certain groups of people at the exclusion of others. So what shapes the ego? Is it part of our DNA or is it something that we learn throughout life? There are many theories for both sides, but I will speak of my own personal experience. The ego is your false self. For example, the car you drive doesn't describe one bit who you are. What about your name, your identity? It doesn't come close to explaining your crazy belief in separation. Why? Because the ego is shaped by your surroundings, such as the music that you listen to, the news, the television, the stuff you read, your social media, your friends, what you've been told by your parents, your teachers, your favorite color, your favorite clothes, your watch, your car. The crazy thing is that you do anything to protect your ego. If I were to say anything negative to you regarding those things that you feel are real, you will get offended. You will definitely get offended. On the other hand, this also applies to our thinking. It's what you've been telling yourself based on all these factors. Every time you tell yourself, I'm not good enough, my artwork sucks, my writing sucks, my music is horrible, nobody will like it. Every time you say that, and you repeat this over and over again in your head, this deluded belief of self will become part of your ego. And it becomes part of your own identity. And that's the problem. And the problem is that you start identifying yourself with those thoughts and you believe them to be the true. Even if you tell everybody that you believe in yourself and you're amazing on the surface, the only person that matters knows the truth. And the truth is that you don't believe in yourself. That's the worst because it's you, the fake you that you created in your mind. Imagine how this can affect your masterpiece, your compositions, your writing, your relationships, your family, everything. As you can see, the worst critic is yourself. And this is what we need to surpass if we are to attain that amazing key I've been telling you about. I'm not here to tell you how to mix paint or how to make money painting. At least not right now. There are already plenty of videos that do that. But what I'm here for is to tell you how to discover your true self so you can paint with no judgment. So you can write music with no judgment. So you can write with no judgment so you can do whatever you want in life with no self-judgment i want you to splash colors without fear i want you to be true to your own nature and no one else i want for you to be able to sleep and wake up refreshed to start your day creative then you can worry about all that other material stuff about how to paint money i'll probably do a video about that in the future so what's the solution to this ego problem Remember, the mind is like a hard drive. We need to remove the virus and we need to install a new program. The virus is our negative self-talk. The new program that we're going to install is going to be the positive self-talk. This new task becomes part of your subconscious mind to the point that you can do it without even thinking about it. So start telling yourself you're amazing. You are inspirational. You are love and therefore worthy of love. You love what you create, you love nature, you love everyone because you love yourself. Love is the one thing that binds all of us. Only love can show you the way to an expanded state of consciousness where everything is unified, everything is connected, where creativity is abundant. Everything is here for you. We just need to enter this state of mind, this higher level of consciousness. This is the land flowing with milk and honey. And it's for you, it's already here. We are just a little bit too blind to see it. All right, I really hope you loved the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I really can't wait to share the next one with you guys. And I will be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.